Yes, yes, yes. How are we doing? Hope you're good. Welcome to show 380. Today we're going to talk about components of performing at a high level. Sounds quite corporate. Um, but I kind of look at our, um, the way that we live our lives, right? And we want to be able to perform at a high level, right? We want to make sure that we're showing up at a level that allows us to reach standards that we need to reach. And if you're going to get to the top of your game in terms of the way that you live your life, and you've got to be performing at a high level. So I've kind of got seven tips here, or seven things that we might need to consider. So you might want to write them down, um, and, and then question yourself, which ones are you doing, or which ones aren't you doing? All right, so let's get into it. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I'm your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through, then please do let me know. Um, and I want you to ask the question in, in the comments below. Um, do you feel that you perform at a high level overall in life? I don't mean just within your job. I mean, like, in terms of showing up. Okay. And as we go through and I say each one, I want you to be honest about which one you think you attack and which, which ones you think you're not doing at the minute. And this is a little bit of self-reflection and, on, on, and honesty. Um, cool. All right. So number one, um, the key components of performing at a high level. So first one I put here was setting clear and achievable goals. Having a clear target in mind can help you focus and make progress. Right. There's a couple of key words that I wrote in here. Clear and achievable. Um, I find that a lot of people who haven't been trained how to create goals like 10x what their capabilities are and end up becoming like annoyed at themselves because they haven't achieved the things that they said that they were going to, right? Um, so it's, ba it's about having achievable goals and making sure it's turbo clear to you about what it is. So if I come into your world and I said, right, tell me your goals, you could turn around and tell me what they are easily, you know, so I, you know what, I want to lose two stone in 12 weeks. These are how many pounds I've got to lose a week. This is my target. This is how I achieve it, right? And um, and it's about understanding how it progresses you forward. So how does it progress you forwards? How do you move forwards with it, right? So it's important to have that. So if you, uh, in the comments, if you feel like you set clear and achievable goals, then, then let me know. If you don't and it's an issue, then just kind of say, uh, this is a sticking point, I'm not consistent with this. You know, Some of this I went through with my uh, elite squad last night. Um, so number two, developing a strong work ethic, putting in consistent effort even when faced with hardship is crucial for success. So what we're talking about here with work ethic, ethic is not in not being spontaneous, not being just when you feel like it or when you're just motivated. It's being able to break through the hardship, right? So when you face hardship or when there's a curveball or when there's misdirection or your energy and time is being taken away it means that you can still show up and perform at a high level for your own sanity life control self-leadership um whilst dealing with all of those issues okay and that's a hard task and that's something that we often teach a lot of lads coming through the program Okay, so we need to look at work ethic. So in the comments, if you feel like your work ethic is good and you handle hardship really well and you can control a hardship and you can still show up whilst controlling hardship, then brilliant. Okay, pat yourself on the back. It's a tick. High performance. Good. Number three. Okay, staying organized, having a system for keeping track of tasks and deadlines can help you prioritize and avoid distractions. Now, um, organization and self-management, I think, is something I think a lot of men struggle with. Men and women. women men and women both struggle with this. Um, because what we end up doing is starting one task and then we think, oh my God, I've just got to, I forgot I meant to do that. So you then jump onto that next task and you get involved with that task and then you almost forgot the task that you just left and then suddenly you triangulate it and you go, my God, I have something else I was meant to do. And it, suddenly these things pop in our head. One of the things I've, so simple, such a simple system and strategy, is that um, having a notepad and pen on there, so if something pops into my head, I write it down immediately. I don't 
go and actually carry out that task and drag me away from what I'm working on. Literally just make sure that it, I write it down and deal with it once I finish that task, all right? So staying organized, staying on top of your game, having your systems and tracking your tasks and deadline, right? So are you organized? So do get like, it's important that you get involved in this in the comments so you can self analyze yourself, right? Um, okay, number four. Improving time management, time management skills. I reckon 97% of you should be saying I need to improve on this. Managing your time effectively can help get more done in less time. So the Elite Squad is my high level group that I work with. Uh, and last night not one of them put their hands up in terms of saying they're managing their time properly. Okay. Very few people are. They are, um, they are, we manage our money, but we, we, I, this is where the problem with time management is, is that you think you have an abundance of time. You think you have loads of time. Oh, it's only early February, we've got the rest of the year. Don't be a muppet, okay? Don't be a muppet, you haven't got the rest of the year. You don't have an abundance of time. It's gonna catch you up and it's gonna punch you in the face. I'm telling you now. Um, manage your time effectively can help you get more done in less time, yeah. But you've got to be on top of your game, right? Okay, it's, 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 you know, the stuff that we teach with the lads in the Elite Brotherhood is like designed to make more aware of it, but it's co complacency, complacency of how valuable time is. Okay. Number five, building a strong support network. Okay, having people to rely on for help and advice can, in, uh, can be invaluable in helping you stay motivated and committed. So basically, what I should have put, probably written there um, was having a strong community, network community. So I had a discussion with a guy the other day um, who's just finished all of the programs. The thing that we're trying to create within the Elite Brotherhood um, is that we are trying to create a community for men to be feel safe in, to share their wins, to share their losses, to hold themselves accountable. It's their safe place. Because when you do it alone, when you try to figure it out by yourself, it is a really lonely process. Nine, maybe not many, maybe 7.5 out of 10 men that try to change by themselves fail because they have no one or no community to be accountable for. So when it gets tough, they take the easy road, okay? And most men will procrastinate for the rest of their lives and never actually join a community or do something. Having that network, Having someone say, hey, dude, it's going to be okay. Hey, let's pick you up. Hey, why don't you try this? Hey, why don't you get on top of that? Man, that's a booster to know you're not alone. It's huge. So if you, if you, if you feel that's an issue, put it in the comments. If you feel like you've got a strong support system, put that in the comments. Um, okay, number six, important one. Continuous, uh, seek continuous learning and improvement. Staying current with new developments and expanding your knowledge and skills can help you stay ahead um, of your own mind. So, coming back to these Rise to Thrive shows, they're just like small micro knowledge bombs. They're just awareness nudges. That's all these are, little gold nuggets where we push you forwards. And I think it's really important to, um, to continuously keep coming back to them listening to podcasts, listening to um, audio books, like doing courses, keep improving yourself, keep investing in yourself, keep yourself sharp, keep that mind as sharp as it possibly can. And then when we look at how that ha helps with our high performance, man, it means that we've, we've got bags of knowledge. The minute we start soaking up knowledge is the minute that we start to disconnect. Okay, number seven, maintaining a positive attitude, maintaining a positive outlook, and, and being resilient uh, in the face of challenges can help you stay inspired and productive. Now, when I spoke to the Elite Squad last night, um, I wanted to change that, maintaining a, maintaining a positive attitude to um, keeping a level head, keeping a level head of thinking, um, because we can't always be positive. Do you know what I mean? Like, if your mum died, or you lost your job, 
it's very difficult to stay positive minded in that moment I think. It, it's just about staying level headed and understanding and recognising the art of perspective in that actually I'm not always going to feel like it I'm not always going to want to feel like I'm showing up I'm not always going to be on the top of my game things are not always going to be the way that I want them to be but actually when we stay level headed and what we do is that we understand those situations we understand how we can still perform at a high level we can understand how we can still show up and achieve the goals that we want to achieve right and i think that is important all right guys so there's seven seven um components if you like of maybe um that make up us of us uh shown in a high performance what i would get you to look at is look at which ones you're doing now and which ones you're not and write them all down kind of go on doing this and doing this at the minute so maybe I'm going to focus on number four maybe I'm going to focus on number six and it might be <coughs> that you work on one of those for owner for a 12-week period and it's kind of like how do I do this this and that it's like and that's the art of growing right it's trying to figure out how we continue that progress and keep building that process um, and making sure that we're staying at a high performance because the minute you drop your standards the minute the one second after you drop your standards, you basically are setting yourself up to crush and burn, I'm telling you. Um, seen it a million times. Just like your, your chimp, that gremlin in here, that beast, he's just waiting for you to drop it. And then he's gonna suck you into that world. And as soon as you suck back into that world, you're heading in the wrong direction. Sure, you might get out of it, but then you start beating yourself up and you start going through that mental battle. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, I'm excited to announce that we're going to be launching the five day challenge on Friday in our non social media platform, which will be awesome. No longer going to be doing it in a Facebook group. Uh, well, I say no longer. We're going to see, um, got to see first whether it, this actually works on this beta test. So um, I hope you have a great couple of days, and I'll see you Friday. Ready to go.